one would be right after economy lecture, okay, and ten would be when you have some warm up, when you, for example, did some exercises and you feel like you know you're in the flow, you can solve any problem, you have all the mental resources available. Okay, give yourself a number, write it down. Or now. Now, now, how do you feel? Now, how do you feel now? After economics? Mental energy. After economics, you have one. Now you have one. Give yourself a number. It's just what you feel, like, okay? okay? You feel it's five, it's five. You feel it's seven, it's seven. I don't judge that, right? Okay, so what are your numbers? My number is five. Okay. Blue eye two and Nat Nat Natalia three. Three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and now we're talking about emotional energy. One would be if some bad emotions are affecting you very much, like you can't stop thinking about this thing that somebody said or did to you or whatever. You really can't think about anything else. And then ten would be if you feel empowered, if you feel like you rule the world. Okay. Yeah. Like you feel so good about yourself that ah. It just helps to do to, to good stuff, okay? Give yourself a number for that as well. Ready? Yeah. What, are, what are your numbers? Come on. Three, five. Three, five? Three, five, right? No, okay. Five. Okay, so we go to the last energy, which is spiritual energy. This is a tricky one, okay? If you feel that life controls you, other people control you. You don't do what you want, you, you do what others want. You don't really know what you want. <laughs> okay, that will be around one. And then if you know exactly who you are, what you want, why you want it, that will be around ten, right? It's, it's your goals in life in general. How certain you feel about what you want to do and why. Okay, so give yourself a number. And now the whole magic will begin because I want you to do very, very sophisticated mathematical calculation of multiplying those numbers. Okay? I'll give you a minute. Multiply those numbers and give me, uh, give me your number because this will be very useful. If you have a number, shout it out. Okay, I have my number. Okay. 720. We got 720. What else? Alright. I got 366. 500. 500. No, we have one. How much? 560. 560. Okay, that's good. Yeah, no you know your number. Now, I'll show you where, where the trick is. Do you guys know what's maximum productivity index? Well, here it is. It's 10,000. Okay. So, this is your maximum productivity. So, if you're operating on, let's say, 500, you're doing 5% of your productivity. <laughs> it's yes. good that you're alive. You know this, huh? <laughs> no. So this is here. this is how this energy actually impact your productivity. It's okay. It's not like direct, uh, very like precise thing, but it's more or less you know you, you can you can actually think about it. Okay. Now let's talk about ways to renew each type of the, each type of the energy. Okay. So, um, what would you do in order to renew your physical energy? What would you do? You're tired, you're sleepy. Red Bull. What would you do? Red Bull. Okay. That's short term solution for long term. Yeah. Right? Okay. We're going to talk solution. about better solutions in a minute. What else? What, what would you do? Do something that you like to do. But you're tired. You don't want to do anything. You want to like Take a bath. Sleep. Huh? Take a bath. Yeah. I think yeah. you sleep, I take a nap. Sleeping, yeah, right. Sleeping. Take a nap, right? This is called nap. Or you could just care about your physical uh, fitness level so that you can deal with more things easier. Um, so taking breaks, relaxing, for example, meditating or 
just lying down, taking a nap. That's uh, for renewing the physical energy. How about mental energy? Uh, yes, sleep is the solution for everything. Sleep is the solution for everything. That's a perfect one. That's that's a really good one, right? <laughs> yeah, but this would actually even. <laughs> but imagine you are after four hours of economy, okay, and you want to renew your mental energy. You're going to see something. You feel Okay, I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. Uh, what you do is you make clear distinction for your mind between work and break. Okay? So when you work, you're 100% there, you work, but nothing else exists. If you're in break, you don't work at all. That's why your mind can work and then relax. And you need this time for relaxation. So we have like work time and we have relaxation. And here is something very dangerous. Yes. It's called the gray zone. It's if you're here, you're neither working nor relaxing. It's terrible. And this is the state where most of us are most of the time, okay? We're not that focused on work. We're doing something sometimes, but we're not relaxing our minds either. So the idea is to separate clearly the work and other things. If you work, you focus only on the work. If you relax, you're not focused on the work at all. Another idea, uh, the decrease in productivity happens sometimes because, for example, when people are in the office and they look out of the window and they see that there's beautiful weather, they start thinking, oh, I should be on the beach, oh, I should be with my family. So their mind goes off. They hear the gray zone even if they're to work. Now, they're in vacation with their family and they start thinking, oh, I need to do this project at work and I don't know what the boss says about this report and, you know, all this stuff. So they're not resting. That's terrible. That's the great zone to be avoided. So we want to separate time uh, for work and play, for example. Okay, and the ways of renewing spiritual energy, that would be, for example, taking time to just sit with in silence and think about your goals, think about what you want. Focus about your, on your dreams. Um, take time in silence to just listen to your subconscious mind, just to completely relax, block all the noise that go, goes on around. Think about your life and think about your purpose. Okay. So here's the biggest trick. The trick is to develop habits that renew energies. Because if we renew energy today, tomorrow we will still run out of the energy. So the trick is to include some habits that renew all kinds of energies into your daily routine. For example, Daniel will laugh now, but uh, I'll give you an example from my uh, life. I was living in the room 30 nights. Uh, oh, you come on. And yeah, there are two solutions to get to school, right? Uh, you can take a tram, which takes about 25 minutes, or you can walk, which takes about 25 minutes. No, the tram takes 15 minutes. Oh, okay. I, when I took it, it worked out. Anyway, uh, I took it once. But uh, if you're aware of this stuff, if you're aware of these energies, you can walk, and then you increase your um, physical energy, or at least your fitness level, so that your capacity of dealing with stress and so on goes up. So what we need to do is we need to create habits that will renew our energies. For example, habit of making breaks, right? Habit of sleeping enough hours. If you're not uh, well rested, your productivity will be small. Um, how about emotional energy? We didn't talk about that yet, but how do you renew emotional energy? That's very important. You do things that you like. You do uh, things that cause good emotions. You talk to your friends, you go out, you go to the cinema, whatever you want. So you can see that even things like going to the cinema, sleeping, can be good for productivity. So now, if, if let's say, maybe this situation doesn't happen anymore, but let's say in the past your parents were like, study, study, you have an exam tomorrow. So you're like, oh, I'm going to the cinema, it's going to make me more productive. Okay, you're going to sell this story, okay? Because Sebastian told them that, yeah. But really, all these other activities can make you more productive as long as they renew your energies. And the big idea is also to take one day in a week where you don't work at all. Okay? 
take for example